All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Raiders Daily. These boys look good. These boys look really, really good. I know it's just preseason, but the Raiders are 2-0. I know they looked good in preseason last season, but this Raiders team genuinely feels different. We've talked about it all summer, and guys are putting up. Guys are producing right now, man, and it's all starting with the quarterback play. We just saw Jimmy G, 4-4, four, four, 39 yards. He looks good. He looks in control. I love his body language. I just love the overall vibe, the overall aura that Jimmy G brings to this Raiders team and seeing him out there on the field, live action in a Raiders uniform, especially with all the injury question marks this past summer and this past season in general, it was great to see him out there. The star of the show was Aiden O'Connell. I mean, Aiden O'Connell is pretty much making, he's pretty much setting himself a quarterback two right now. QB2 already, 11-18, 163 yards, two touchdowns. This dude, he's getting compared to Tom Brady just the way he's, he's holding himself. This guy is a leader. He's in control. He does not look like a rookie in the slightest. This dude does not look like a rookie at all. Out of all the quarterbacks right now that were selected in this past year's draft, Aiden O'Connell is one of the more impressive, if not the most impressive quarterback in that entire draft. Just, you know, it's based off preseason. I know, I know. But it's funny because in our last Raiders video, we talked about it. What if the Raiders actually have a loaded quarterback room? I love Jimmy G. If he's out there on the field and he's healthy, the Raiders are going to win some football games. But they might have something in their back pocket long term with Aiden O'Connell. We'll talk about Aiden a little bit later on. Uh, Zamir White, you know, 10 carries, 40 yards. The, the dude's not ready for RB1 duties, and that's why it's so important that Josh Jacobs is, is good and ready to go starting week one or just hopefully as soon as humanly possible. Um, Zamir White had a solid first preseason game. He had a solid second preseason game, but it just wasn't anything crazy. Nothing special. 10 carries, 40 yards. He had a very nothing rookie season because he just was never really on the field. He wasn't really getting snaps. He wasn't getting rushes. You just didn't see much of Zamir White because Josh Jacobs was the best running back in the league last year. It's a big year for Zamir in the sense of, it, do we have something here? The dude was a freaking stud in high school. He was a freaking stud in college. I know he's a stud. He just needs more reps. He needs more time. He needs more touches. He needs more rushes. He needs a little bit more of everything work-related, right? He's young. So nothing crazy, um, but it's, it was fine. All right, Zamir White did fine. The wide receiver room is, is, is a position we've been talking about all summer. They're loaded. You know, <laughs> Devontae Adams... Hunter Renfro, Jacoby Myers, these guys are good, but they're deep. The Raiders are really deep at the wide receiver room. Two guys, actually, they had four players in that victory over the Rams that really produced. Philip Dorsett, four catches, 76 yards. Trey Tucker, we'll talk about Trey Tucker and his special teams ability. Three catches, 66 yards for Trey Tucker. Those two guys, speed alone, possesses, even if they're just on the field and they're not getting touches in regular season, just having these guys on the field for that big playability, it has Josh McDaniels licking his chops. There is something special there with Trey Tucker. I know he's had a couple of drops. Every rookie is going to have drops. Didn't Jamar Chase drop like four of his five targets in his first preseason game? Like, there is something there with Trey Tucker. And because of the Raiders' depth at wide receiver, they don't even need Trey Tucker to do anything crazy in his rookie season. I'm expecting Trey Tucker to be somewhere around 500 receiving yards, somewhere between four and five touchdowns in his rookie season. But long term, with that speed, when it all comes together, there, there's something there, man. There is definitely something there. Keelan Cole, Christian Wilkerson. Both had great games. Again, Keelan Cole, five catches, 60 yards. Christian Wilkerson becoming a huge fan favorite. Somebody to keep an eye on for that Raiders last preseason game. Five catches, 54 yards, and that touchdown from Aiden O'Connell. But he had 12 targets. He was a huge favorite for these quarterbacks. So it's somebody to keep an eye on because... You know, the Raiders have a lot of depth at wide receiver. Uh, it's going to be an interesting decision to see, you know, is Christian Wilkerson going to make this roster? Um, defensively, they only gave up one touchdown. You know, outside of Brian Hoyer's pick six, which was a defensive touchdown, they only gave up a four-yard rushing touchdown to Stenson Bennett. So although, you know, one thing I'm really focused on that for the Raiders for this upcoming season is just getting to the QB. You know, not only do they need more sacks outside of Max Crosby, but they just need to hit the quarterback more. They just need to generate more pressure to make the secondary's job that much more easier because they didn't do that last season. So only two quarterback hits, no sacks, or sorry, just one sack from David Auga. But 
it's preseason and they were locked down. They they locked down the Rams defense. Like I said, they gave up one offensive touchdown. If they didn't give up, if Brian Hoyer didn't have that pick six, it's a 34 to 10 victory. So something to keep an eye on is that defense this upcoming season, obviously, but uh, I really think they're gonna be a lot better than people are, are expecting. Finally, we'll, we'll touch on the special teams here. <laughs> Special teams is, is funny because people forget how important it is either until you play somebody who lights you up special teams wise or you have somebody who is lighting teams up special teams wise. Trey Tucker punting returns. Four tries, 66 yards. He had a long of 26. He averaged 16.5 yards per punt return. That's huge. The money number when you're returning a punt is 10 yards. It's a first down. If Trey Tucker averages 16.5 yards per punt return, he's going to run a couple of those back, but he's going to give you really good field to, field to possession. He's going to give a really, really good possession, right? He's going to get you around middle of the field if he's averaging 16.5 yards per punt return. Now, obviously those numbers, you know, I'm not expecting him to keep that average up, but it's something to keep an eye on because they also have DeAndre Carter. You know, the Raiders targeted speed in the draft and in free agency in the past two years, really, and... It's going to pay dividends this season. This is a fast team. This is a lot faster of a team than people are giving them credit for. New additions, Trey Tucker, Jacorian Bennett, you know, Philip Dorsett. But DeAndre Carter, punt return, 31 yards, 30-yard kick return. Trey Tucker had a 14-yard kick return. The special teams is something to keep an eye on for this Las Vegas Raiders squad because, I mean, it's a difference maker. You got guys who can field punts, and they can get you long returns. I mean, that that is a difference maker. So... That's also something to keep an eye on. But in general, you know, it is preseason. And like we said at the beginning of the video, I know that the Raiders had a good preseason last year. I remember covering it. But there's something different about this team. They just feel so different. Like we said earlier, the, the aura that Jimmy G gives. I just love it. I absolutely love it. I'm enamored by it. And I know that veteran mentality, that veteran leadership that he has is going to pay dividends. And it's going to be huge for a player like Aiden. It's just going to be huge for him you know we're already seeing it immediately this guy does not look like a rookie he looks so poised so for Raiders fans because I don't I mean you know Brian Hoyer is an OG but <laughs> if you're missing a starting quarterback you want to win football games I think Aiden O'Connell will win the backup quarterback role for this Las Vegas Raiders team and considering Jimmy G's injury history, I would imagine we will see an Aiden O'Connell start this upcoming season, or he's at least going to touch the field. So it's exciting. It's exciting right now to be a Raiders fan. And yeah, it's just preseason, but still, it's a lot better to be 2-0 and than it is to be 0-2. How, how about that? Can we agree with that? So that's it for tonight, man. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily Raiders content. I appreciate all your guys' love, all your support uh, this past summer. I can't wait for the start of the regular season, but stay tuned for daily Raiders content. Peace.